Joshua on June 1st, if I'm not mistaken, the date. Uh, so you seem pretty calm. You seem pretty relaxed about it. It's kind of a big deal. How are you staying grounded and level-headed? You know what? We're just um, sticking to the game plan. I feel I'm relaxed. I feel I'm ready because I just got done fighting April 20th, two weeks ago. So now that we have the opportunity for, for to fight for, for the um, heavyweight world championship, you know, it's a blessing. And... I can't wait for June 1st, and I'm, I'm ready, you know? Yeah. Now, um, obviously, besides winning, what do you think you can do differently uh, as far as, like, other challengers go against Joshua to get the victory? Um, I'm not going to fight scared like everyone else does that, that fights him, you know? I'm going to be mm -hmm. aggressive. I'm going to be on, on top of him. Um, but the thing that's going to give him problems, I think, is my speed and the aggressiveness. He might not think that. I'm pretty sure he hits hard. Of course, he hits hard, and I hit sure. hard, too, you know? So I think it's going to be an all-action fight. All right. Now, you mentioned it earlier during the press conference, but, uh, you know, Mexican fighters do tend to go to the body quite frequently. Is that something that you intend to do early on, like go to the body right from the jump? Of course, you know, from the first, from the... the as soon as the, the bell rings, I'm aiming to the body, to the head, um, you know, switch it up, you know, I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want him to catch me off guard of always throwing the body and then him try to counter punch me. So we we'll have a good game plan and um, the main thing is just to, to stay busy and, and win. Uh, would you say you would probably prefer volume of punches over power or power over volume or both? For I think we mix them up. Um, the, the, the speed and, and the accuracy that, that uh, comes with power. So like they say, um, when you don't see a fight, a punch coming, that's what, what hurts you the most, you know? Yeah. But you know what? I think they're all going to hurt. I know um, his are going to hurt as well, but I'm ready for the challenge. And, you know, I wouldn't be calling them out for, for no reason. Sure. Now, are you looking at this from a perspective of like a win-win? You know, if he wins, okay, so be it. He was supposed to beat me anyway. He's a favorite. Or if I win, I'm the next you know, Mexican superstar. You know what? Um, it, a lot of people could say it's a win-win, but for me, it's not really about the money. Yeah, it's going to help me take care of my family, my kids. Um, but I'm here to make legacy. I'm here to make history. So I think that's that. That's um, worth more than whatever whatever they're going to give me. But... You know what? I'm just happy to be here, man. I'm ready for June 1st. It's going to be a lot of fireworks. We're both going to be punching each other in the yeah. face. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man, I'm really excited. Now, uh, you mentioned it also, or I think it was your trainer, that this fight isn't really on short notice. But I mean, to the to everyone else, it kind of sort of is because you just got done uh, boxing. And generally for boxers, you have to like, peak as far as conditioning. You got to come back down and then come back up again. Uh, do you feel like it is? I mean, you're the one that reached out for the fight. But do you think it is a little bit on short notice? Um, <clears throat> maybe just the fight, but not the, the preparation, you know? I just mm. got done fighting April 20th. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still in shape. I still have conditioning. Um, all we have to do is just continue the training camp, and there, there's there's not that many. Um, like I was in like a, off for a whole month, and then having to fight again. You know, I was sure. just off for one week and get back to training camp. I don't know if Anthony Joshua worked out too much, mm -hmm. overworked out. So mm -hmm. who knows? You know, I'm just ready, and especially I'm ready in the, in the mind. Yeah. Have you fought at MSG before? No, it's going to be my first time. First time. Damn, it's going to be first time for you and Anthony Joshua yeah, and MSG. All right. Well, uh, being a Mexican-American myself, I'm definitely going to be supporting the way uh, I supported uh, Canelo and, and uh, other past Mexican uh, boxers. Now, we had a shot at the heavyweight title one time with uh, um, uh, Ariola, uh, sometime Ariola. Chris Ariola, and it didn't go very well. Mm -hmm. um, so we're hoping that we get another one, you know, because, yeah. yeah, we have several superstars, Canelo in particular, but to have a second one, does that, does that add any more pressure to you? Like as far as your shoulders go to be able to carry that that mantle you know what it just um the pressure it just gives you more motivation you know so it just gives you more in the mind and like in your brain that, that you want to you want to become the first mexican heavyweight champion of the world and as long as long as you believe it you 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 say it and um it's all gonna come true man yeah. All right. Well, uh, any final words to your to your fans who uh, what to expect to see? Because we are going to see you June first, and everyone's going to be uh, tuning in for that one. But any any last word to your fans? Well, just follow me, man. I'm going to shut up all your doubters, all the haters that are always hating me, um, just because I'm big, I'm fat, I'm chubby, whatnot. But you know what? This fat chubby kid <laughs> is here in the spotlight now. You know. Yeah. So I'm here to make history and tune in. Follow me on Andy underscore thirteen. Destroy your thirteen. And you guys can see the, the the rest of my training camp. Right on. Thank you so much, Andy. Thank I appreciate you, your time, brother.